News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. I'm No Began with your weather. Today is Tuesday, April 12th. Today we had mostly sunny skies with a high of 75 degrees. Your average temperature around this time of year is only 3 degrees below that at 72. Winds were coming from the south-southwest today at 5 miles per hour with gusts up to 10 miles per hour. The evening today was 7, which is high. Humidity was at 32 percent. Sunrise was at 614 this morning and the record high in 1921 was 88 degrees. Tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies with a low of 52 degrees. Your average temperature on this time of year is 44 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast this evening at 7 miles per hour with gusts up to 9 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 57 percent. Sunset will be at 715 this evening and the record low in 1917 was 32 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have sunny skies with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 51 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south at 12 miles per hour with gusts up to 17 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 41 percent. Sunrise will be at 612 tomorrow morning and the UV index will be 8, which is very high. For our seven-day forecast against sunny skies tomorrow, we'll have partly cloudy skies and high winds this Thursday and Friday. Things should be clearing up on Saturday, and we'll have sunny skies through next Tuesday. Your high temperatures will be starting off at 77 degrees tomorrow. That'll work its way down to 69 degrees on Friday, and from there, work its way up all the way to 87 degrees next Tuesday. Looks like things will be warming up here. Your low temperatures will be starting off at 51 degrees. That will drop to 46 degrees on Thursday, and and from there, work its way up to 59 degrees by next Tuesday. Thanks so much, Noah. Are you interested in helping clean up our town? Please attend a meeting tomorrow night, Wednesday. The Neighborhood Cleanup Committee will be meeting at 6 p.m. in the offices of the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce. Well, they are located at 1301 South Highway 160, upstairs above the Nevada State Bank on Highway 160. For more information, you can give them a call 775-537-0200. And Prump Chapter 15 of the Disabled American Veterans is having their Veterans Appreciation Barbecue. That is this Saturday, April 16th at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. That's right there on Honeysuckle between Prump Valley Boulevard and Dandelion Streets. It will run from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. Veterans with their identification, immediate family, and the veterans caregivers eat free. The cost to non-veterans families is $5 for adults and $2 for children under 12. All proceeds from the event go to aid local veterans veterans and their families. For more information and to donate to the Disabled American Veterans, you can contact Terry Jenke at 775-537-7259. And the Senior Center has also volunteered to provide transportation to the Disabled American Veterans Barbecue for the Disabled American Veterans throughout our town. And once again, that's this Saturday. Veterans should call the Prump Senior Center's Transportation Department, 775-751-6860, as soon as possible to make arrangements. We want to let everybody know that we hooked up a viewer today. If you're listening on the radio station 95.9 K-ACE and you want to watch our free local programming on our four digital channels, you can give us a call to do that at 775-727-9400 extension 201. That's once again 727-9400 extension 201. We got a phone call from a resident who wanted to watch local news and in his own words he says, I don't live in Vegas. I'd like to find out what's going on in my town on a daily basis so he wanted to watch uh, News 46 so what we did was we went up to his house and he purchased a digital antenna and it was approximately $32. We hooked it up to his flat screen TV. We scanned for channels and he was kind of way out there. So he was able to pick up 13 over the air channels. And sometimes there's about 20 to 28 that you can pick up, but it depends on how far away you are from the actual transmitters. And we scanned, he got our channels in very well and we taught him how to use his remote. And that's very important is how to use the remote because he has a direct TV uh, remote and we were able to use that remote to control the over the air channels as well as his direct TV. He wanted to keep his satellite. So we um, taught him how to use his remote so that he can go back and forth between the television and over the air channels and our digital channels and go back to his direct TV so he could have both. And we had him try it a few times and it worked out really well for him.
And once again, if you would like to get hooked up to free local television, there is no charge. If you need to buy a digital antenna, that would be the only charge. We'll come out to your home, and we might even put you on the news and uh, get a little interview from you about how your experience was. Give us a call, 775-727-9400. Extension 201 is my extension, and we'll get you all hooked up. If you need more information, you can also call Vern at extension 203. we got two more hookups tonight, too, after work. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of News 46. I'm Deanne O'Donnell from all of us here at KPVM-TV and KA's Country Radio 95.9. You have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.